hi welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be doing a day in the life of a real estate agent now i know you're probably wondering why am i dressed in scrubs well i'm also a nurse and i am just getting off work it's 7 20 a.m and if you can't already tell i'm tired i look it i feel it i am tired i am running off almost 24 hours of no sleep so it is time for me to start my day so stay tuned i'm at my client's new home doing the final walkthrough so basically during the final walkthrough what i'm checking for is to make sure that all the repairs have been completed and that the water is running nothing is missing so basically the house needs to be in the same condition or better than what we found it so i just made it home we have a packed day ahead of us stay tuned i'm back i am literally running off of less than two hours of sleep so when i got home i could not sleep i was up until about 10 40 something just working on getting lessons out to my other clients talking to my client about what's our next step i mean i just didn't really have the time to go to bed and my body just for some reason did not want to rest so i laid down about 10 45 my alarm went off at 11 45 but that first alarm <laughs> i did not hear it so then i finally got up around 12 30 something so i got up and got dressed did my hair and makeup in less than 30 minutes and now I'm heading to meet one of my buyers at a new construction development site so that way we can get the papers signed and get under contract. So that's exciting. So we're gonna go ahead and meet my buyer at the new construction property just to go over all the terms that we went through, make sure the contract is right, get everything signed and solidified, have his lot locked in, and make sure everything is going good with that. I, at this point, I really think that I need a assistant. Well, let's not say assistant. I'm gonna say I need an intern because I can't afford an assistant. <laughs> I need a intern to help me because I just have so much stuff going on. I mean, it's a lot. And I need help. Anybody out there want to intern for me? Send me your resume. Because I need your help. I need you. Now, my gas tank is extremely low. And I knew it. I said, you know what? Char, you need to go ahead and go to the gas station before you go home. Because you are not going to want to get up early to put gas in your car. And guess what? I didn't do it. And now my gas tank is low. And I'm just hoping that it'll take me all the way to my destination because I'm not pushing no car. So this car got to make it to where I'm going. So that is the hope that I make it all the way to my destination. If push comes to shove, I might have to stop. But I'm hoping I can go ahead and just make a straight shot there. So the gas station is right there but i've only had to go through three lights and i swear i have sat at each light three times i just don't understand it it's like doesn't the light know that i have somewhere to go like really i have places to go i don't understand why it's so short <laughs> Such a 
There you go, young lady. So. Yes. You did a great job. Yes, you did. Belongs to me. <laughs> yes, it does. Stick it in here. <laughs> I was going to say. Step on yeah, it. Put your foot on. This, this is thick clay dirt. Yes, it, it is. <laughs> Honestly, our builder comes out here with a mallet. Yeah. I just got a call from my lender with some not so ideal news. So my closing that was scheduled today it is not happening due to an issue with the appraisal. So we've already had the appraisal. We had the final appraisal done. It's a safety concern with the stairs and they need something from the appraiser stating that the stairs is not an issue. Well, you would have thought it would have been done already. But that's the nature of the beast sometimes when you're working in real estate, things don't always go as planned. And hey, it is what it is. So it is disappointing because my buyers was expecting to be moving into their home today. They wanted to have their keys in hand today, but unfortunately that will not be happening. So we do have to reschedule the closing. Hopefully we can have a reschedule for Monday and they can be moving into their new home. So that is the update right now. And I'll check back in with you guys later. So I just pulled up to my showing appointment. My appointment was originally scheduled for six o'clock, but since there were issues with closing today and it's not gonna happen, I decided to call them because I remember that they did wanna go look at an earlier time, but I wasn't available. So I was able to reach out to them, let them know that my schedule has opened up if they wanted to move their appointment up. So I'm gonna be able to push their appointment up and then I just got another call from one of my clients that I'm working with and they actually like some of the listings I sent them over and they want to go look at a property. So I moved them into my six o'clock spot. So it all worked out. day today has been wonderful and productive guys got to see a lot as you guys saw this life is unpredictable you never know what your day could bring things can change instantly and that's just the nature of the beast all in all today was a good day we had a contract signing we had some showings today today was packed so I'm almost home, gonna pull in my driveway shortly, and I am gonna get some sleep because I have been ripping and running, and I'm literally running off maybe, what, two hours of sleep? So I'm tired. So when I get into the house, I'm not doing nothing else. I'm going to go and rest, and I have to be on the road tomorrow. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching episode one of Date in the Life of a Real Estate Agent.